My name is Antonio Lain, and I'm the founder of CAVJS Labs. Think of a traditional PayPal checkout process. A successful checkout process typically involves three steps after the user pays. First, capture the funds from PayPal. Second, process the order in your backend. And third, notify the user that everything just went fine. If we capture the funds and don't process the order, we stole money from our customer. If we capture the funds and process the order, but did not confirm, our customer may get confused and reorder the product. And we also don't want paid orders in PayPal limbo that we never knew they were actually paid. Let me first demo a CapJS app that avoids these problems. And later I will tell you about the technology behind the scenes. The panel on the left shows the display of my phone while running this web app. The panel on the right shows the backend service for this app hosted in the cloud. Let's first buy 50 units with no failures. The app redirects to the PayPal sandbox and we accept the payment. We get a notification, but a few seconds later we also get a reassuring email. Now, let's make the container crash at the worst possible moment, after the user paid, and when Kubernetes detects the failure, it will just start a new container. We do the same again. You can see that the pods crash, and then we continue the checkout process. But that now, even though our pods recover, our app, app is disconnected. But when we connect back again, we got a confirmation message and we also got the order. And now the new total is 1,785 units. So what is the magic? A cloud assistant in KVJS is a transactional actor that has just a little bit of state, thin kilobytes. But this state is very carefully managed. State changes are always serialized. And before making any of these changes visible, we always checkpoint in an in-memory database. Cloud assistants delay external actions using transactional plugins. And these actions are always executed after the checkpoint. Plugins also ensure that actions can be safely retried many times. What this means is that after a crash, we can always recover the last checkpoint to the state and safely redo all the actions that were pending, as you have seen. To learn more, check our website, and this app is also in GitHub. The backend for this app is only 182 lines of JavaScript. Thanks for listening.